Hello everyone. Myself Srijit C, Assistant Professor in Civil Engineering Department, Vedavyasa Institute of Technology. As a part of Tech Talk series, today I am going to discuss about waste transfer station. So this is a topic which comes under the uh, municipal solid waste management. So before going into the topic, I will briefly explain what happens in a municipal solid waste management. Waste handling is one of the main issues what we are facing today. So we have to treat the waste which is generated from a community effectively. So this treatment of waste is mainly divided into four steps. First is waste collection, second is the processing stage, third is transfer and transport operation and final stage is the disposal. So the topic of transfer station comes under um, transfer and transport stage that is the third stage. So we will see de in detail what happens in a waste transfer station. So these are the contents of the topic. What is transfer station, transfer operation, need for transfer operation, its benefits, types of transfer station and the factors to be considered for site selection. First we will see what is a transfer station. As I already mentioned these are the um, facilities which is used to affect the transfer of waste from one location to another usually more distant location. So waste transfer station is a light industrial type facility where the trash collection trucks discharge their loads so that the trash can be compacted and then reloaded into larger vehicles for shipment to a final disposal site. Typically this uh, final disposal site will be a landfill or a waste to energy facility. So transfer stations will transfer waste which is generated from small community to one location to another. Usually the small collection vehicles are transferred to a larger vehicle to transport the waste over a extended distances. The transfer and transport operation also used in conjunction with MRF. MRF is the material recovery facility to transport recover material to markets or residue material and to waste energy facility. So we will see what is the needs of transfer operation. Main requirement is to transfer and transport operation become necessity when the whole distance to available disposal site increases. And second point is also it, it is mainly necessary when uh, disposal site cannot reach directly by highways. This is in particular case where the sites are in a uh, remote area. And third point is transfer station is an integral part of all type of MRF or MRTF. MRF I already mentioned it is material recovery facility and uh, material recovery or transfer facilities. The time required for transportation is the key factor especially in the traffic congested cities because in high traffic uh, we cannot uh, you take the vehicle for a long time because the waste will be uh, biodegradable waste and as well as non-biodegradable waste so we need to treat as far as possible and it will be located between the disposal site and the center of the uh, facility because it will enhance the uh, collection as well as the treatment within a particular time otherwise uh, if the waste is collected from a site and we if it, I all, uh, if it is a biodegradable waste one before reaching into the treatment facility uh, the gases will be generated and it will be a difficult situation to treat the waste so it should be located in between the disposal site of the city and the center of the city the functions are volume reduction and so of waste for recycling. Then additional factors that tend to make the use of transfer station include 
occurrence of illegal dumping due to excessive haul distance, use of small capacity collection vehicles, existence of low density residential service area. Uh, some of the municipalities may not have the fund to uh, dispose the uh, or treat the waste to an effective manner. They may be having a small capacity vehicles. Under these situations, we can make use of the transfer station for an effective treatment. This is the typical diagram showing the operation of a transfer station. Once the vehicle is arrived at the uh, transfer station, before entering into the transfer station, there will be a weigh bridge. As you can see in the picture, first picture, there will be a weigh bridge to uh, measure the weight of waste to be collected or treated. Then these containers are detached from the, in the transfer station and if it is a compression or uh, any other treatment primary treatment is required we will give the treatment uh, then only it will be taken out for the disposal site and before going into the disposal site a uh, out, out cover of the uh, uh, container is disinfected using spray nozzle so what are the benefits of transfer station as we already mentioned in the uh, necessity, uh, it reduces overall community traf traffic. And second point is it offers more flexibility in waste handling and disposal operations. Third is it reduces air pollution, fuel consumption and road wear. Because if it is we are we have a uh, small vehicles, it will be transferred in through the city. Uh, because we are handling with the waste, the air will be polluted and also small small vehicles has to uh, take a few number of trips in each day so fuel consumption is more so and road wear is also will be more so by using a um, transfer station all these um, effects can be reduced because fuel can be uh, saved more and um, since we are using less number of vehicles and uh, we can allow uh, the for screening of the waste is in another option and also the traffic can be reduced at the disposal facility because we, as we big containers will be loaded all this waste so the traffic volume will be very less and also it offers a citizen facility for convenient drop off of waste and recyclables this is a, a picture of a typical transfer station in uh, Sharja UAE. Now we will see what are the type of transfer station. Based on the method used to load the transport vehicle, we divided in the transfer station into three: direct tra load transfer station, storage load transfer station, and combined direct load and storage load transfer station. In direct load transfer station, the waste in the collection vehicles are emptied directly into vehicles to be used to transport them so for a small capacity uh, we will use the uh, trans compaction facilities and for large capacity we uh, waste in collection emptied directly into the transport vehicle or the waste in the collection vehicles are emptied temporary onto an unloading platform the waste are then pushed into the uh, transport mm -hmm. trailers new technology of direct load transfer station replace the use of open top transfer station we'll see what are the types of transfer station based on the method used to load the transport vehicle the transfer stations are divided into three direct load transfer station storage load transfer station and the combined direct load and storage load transfer station so we will see what happens in each type of transfer station in direct load transfer station at direct uh, the load is directly into an open top trailer discharged into an open top trailer that is used to transport compaction vehicles okay so this uh, vehicle to be used to transport them into a place of a final disposition disposition 
or into a facilities such as uh, MRF or to compact the waste into transport vehicle into waste bales that are transported into disposal site. And for large capacity, the waste in collection are emptied directly into transport vehicles or the waste in collection vehicles are emptied temporarily onto a unloading platform. The waste are then pushed into uh, transport trailers. New technology of direct load transfer station replaces the use of open top transfer vehicle with the compaction facilities. The compaction facilities can be used to compact waste into transfer trailers. But in storage load, the waste are emptied directly into a storage pit when they are loaded into transport vehicles. Various type of auxiliary equipments are used to load the waste into transport vehicles. The difference between direct load and storage load transfer load is the capacity to store waste. So the combined load, direct load and storage load facility, multi-purpose facilities that are service a broader range of users. It can be material recovery operation also. So in this system we can use uh, a platform or otherwise this uh, broad range of um, vehicles also can be used. So this will be a photos of a typical control room in a transfer station where all the controlling of um, operation takes place. Once the uh, solid waste uh, is gen uh, entered into the solid waste trailer is entered into the station, the weighing, uh, weighing then this treatment and uh, at what time it is will be uh, taken out of the transfer station to disposal site all these uh, controlling are done in from the control room this is a prime mover which fitted with a uh, semi trailer this is will be used in the transfer station now what are the factors to be considered for location of transfer station this transfer station should be as near as possible to the collection area and there should be an easy access to highway there should be minimum public and environment risk or objection because we are um, handling with waste so this area should be minimal public and environmental risk economical aspect has to be considered capacity of the collection vehicle storage space requirement the time required to unload collection vehicle trucks. These are the main factors to be considered for the location of transfer station. So I hope everyone knows about uh, basic concept of uh, transfer station. Thank you all.